All I want is balancing in Halo. I don't care for a BR only competitive scene, but also don't care for obviously abusive sandbox elements. Balancing is the word of the day, people. These click debates are lame. That's what one of the best players in the game, Lucid, is talking about when it comes to the Mangler. In this video, I wanna go into why people hate the Mangler and why they wanna see it nerfed. Where this weapon sits within the sandbox is highly debated right now. So let's go over what the Mangler does, why people don't like it, and what the possible fix might be for the Mangler. And what the most likely fix will be as well. So if you guys like these discussion kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you wanna see some more content like this. If you wanna stay updated with everything going on with Halo, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So what does the Mangler do? Well, it's a three shot perfect kill. It's a projectile weapon as well. So you have to lead your shots and it has the, probably the most severe bullet drop I've seen ever in the Halo franchise. It has also a one shot beat down capability. Two shots to the body, switch to your battle rifle. It's a one shot kill. One shot with the Mangler, three shots with the battle rifle. And a lot of people have really enjoyed its unique aspect within the sandbox. It's definitely a weapon we've never really had before in a Halo game because it plays kind of like almost like a Destiny hand cannon in a way with a slow fire rate, high damage. And it kind of acts like a Uno reversal card, right? If someone kind of charges in around the corner for a melee, you one shot tap them with a melee. You're like, ha, gotcha. Uno reversal card, one shot melee with a mangler, gotcha. And honestly, it's really fun. So why do people want to see this weapon nerfed? Well, it's mainly coming from the pro community in the competitive scene of Halo. Phase Snipe Down mentioned this saying that the Mangler needs to be on a spawn time cycle as same as the Heat Wave or Shotgun as soon as possible. Being on a 30 second spawn timer feels like three people at all times have it due to how much ammo it has. Halo Competitive needs some quality of life updates, wouldn't mind this for Thrust for Aquarius as well. Now the Halo Pro I mentioned at the top of this video also replied to this saying that he agrees as well. This needs some form of communication to understand where the updates are coming from. Another prominent pro Frosty chimes in basically saying like, yeah, we need some discussion with the developers about how to fix this gun. The Legend Pistola also chimes in saying, let's do it. But really kind of set this in stone, right? And making people think there's gonna be a nerf is the head of HDS Tashi replying back saying, Hi guys, we definitely have been seeing a lot of feedback and talking about it internally, especially for big ones like the Mangler. So just change the spawn timer. Simple, right? Just change and make it like a dynamic spawn like the Heat Wave and Shotgun, right? Because right now, as it sits, that the Mangler is on a 30 second stack spawn time. So as soon as you pick up a Mangler, the next one will spawn up in exactly 30 seconds. And you can have multiple on the field right there at the one time. You can see in this clip, I have like, five or six different kind of manglers just laying on the floor. Imagine if all those were just individual people who had manglers, you can kind of see how the problem kind of duplicates and becomes a little bit more frustrating. If it was more like the heat wave or shotgun where you can only have one on the field at one time, and also it's on a spawn timer to where once that weapon is dropped with no ammo or once the ammo is done with the weapon, then the spawn timer kicks in, reducing its amount of times you see it on the field as well. So. That's one thing that really could help it because I would hate to see it get damage nerfed because I think it's not like necessarily an overpowered weapon. I think maybe if you see it too often within the gameplay, it can be rather frustrating. Especially since the weapon does an amazing job of ripping shields, way better than like any plasma weapon right now within Halo. This clip here from Arash really showcases like how people are at a higher level utilizing the Mangler where you see a two tap right there then it rips the shields, swap to your battle rifle, which if you drop your weapon rather than switching to your weapon, you actually switch faster, which a lot of people are doing. And so then this is what causes them to kind of outplay a lot of people. You can see he was damaged and like going to be outplayed most likely, but the Mangler really helped about in that situation. Now, you definitely can make the argument saying like, well, maybe he's just utilizing the sandbox properly, you know, which certainly could be the case because, you know, that's kind of the aspect of Halo, right? Where if you're taking advantage of the sandbox and the way these different weapons play, it, it plays to your advantage and you'll be able to do better in the game. That's kind of the philosophy behind Halo. But sometimes things can be, well, a little too overtuned or not fit in the sandbox as they should. Like I said, that like the plasma weapons are designed to rip shields, but when you have a weapon like the Mangler, which rips shields better and more consistently than those plasma weapons, it feels like it doesn't really fit its sandbox niche as it's supposed to. Another argument I've seen like, well, you can do the same thing with the shotgun, right? And just kind of two tap and three tap and within that range, you should be able to get that kill. That's true, it can function very much like a little pocket shotgun, but the difference is that the shotgun is on that dynamic spawner. So you only have one on the map at any time. With the Mangler, you have multiple Manglers, especially for how good the weapon is. At higher tiers play, you'll see like two, three, maybe even four at one time, which can be a little frustrating to play against. 
Another thing I've seen is buffing everything else. You know, make everything else better. Don't nerf what makes that weapon good. Buff everything else that makes it subpar. Which I totally agree. I would love to see some weapons get buffed within Halo Infinite. Like the Commando, I'd like to see it maybe go head to head with the Battle Rifle a little bit better. I would like to see the plasma weapons get, do a little bit more accuracy so they, they can actually rip shields as they're kind of supposed to. Because right now, not very many people are picking up the plasma pistol. Not very many people are picking up the carbine. Even though the carbine can be good, it's very situational. For the mangler, you just shoot the guy and it flies rather straight in a medium close range gunfight. This point was kind of brought up on Reddit with this post that has over 9,000 upvotes. So very highly voted within the Halo subreddit saying just don't touch the mangler. It's great. Why you have to overbalance everything? Not everything has to be completely perfect or have a battle rifle meta like most pros have come to like when it comes to playing competitive Halo. Now, I'm not sure if he's trolling or if completely means this, but Royal 2, one of the best Halo players out there, saying, personally, I feel like the Mangler is completely balanced and people can handle and adapt to a new skill gap. Which is certainly an argument I feel like a lot of people have been making as well when it comes to the Mangler, that like, this is just a new game, this is a new weapon, this is a new sandbox. This is the reason why you have to just kind of learn how to play with it, but that's kind of like the get good mentality, which doesn't really validate the arguments people are having against the Mangler. This Redditor is kind of touching on something that we've seen previously from 343 that they tend to kind of over nerf things where they, they become completely useless basically. We saw this happen with Halo 5 with the battle rifle where a lot of pros were saying like hey the battle rifle's too good which it certainly was but it wasn't anything that was like game breakingly good it was just a little too good and 343 just kind of nerfed that weapon into the ground it affected ranked. I think the strip just took it out of ranked if even that and then in social modes it completely kind of ruined the weapon as well where like Battle Rifle starts like in Big Team Battle, kind of just became, well, pointless and the pistol became like king and overruled everything else. And that's something that a lot of people are afraid of if you do that with the Mangler, that if you let the developers nerf it, it'll be nerfed so hard that it would become useless. We've seen 343 with this track record, and so that's why people are so defensive about the Mangler nerf. But I will say this time around that 343 is much more active with the community, listening to the community a lot more than they were previously. Because even the pros did not like the nerf to the battle rifle in Halo 5. They thought that, you know, they thought like, oh, the aim assist was a little too strong or it was just like a little too accurate, you know? And then 343 was like, well, let's come up with this crazy decision of how to nerf the weapon and everyone hated it. Okay, so how is it going to get nerfed? How is 343 going to change it? Is there anything bad going to happen to it? Well, I think the main thing we're going to see here, if we're likely to see any kind of change with the Mangler right now, would most likely be to move it to a dynamic spawn system rather than have it the static spawn system that we have for it right now. If you're going to change the damage type on it, you'd probably lump that in with a bunch of other things like maybe buffing the commando, the pulse carbine, and they also mentioned about increasing the heat seeking ability with the red radical range of the plasma pistol charge shot, which is pretty weak right now within Halo Infinite. But there's a lot of things that they want to change with the weapons. The weapons will get nerfed and buffed. Like that patch is going to eventually happen. Now I think 343 would rather just kind of lump in the mangler, like nerf or buff, however you like want to change the weapon in some capacity in with all that stuff, which would certainly happen at a later date. I think most likely what we'll see right now is probably just changing the spawn time to it. With some discussion with the competitive community as well, they probably see like moving to like a dynamic spawn system where only like one, maybe two people can have it at most on the field at one time. So in a way, it's still nerfing it because you'll see it less likely and be less effective because well, you'll be having it less, that's true. But if the person who has that mangler definitely could have the full benefits of it as well. Now, most of this does definitely apply to the competitive scene, but I have seen it trickle over to the social scene as well, where now since people are talking about the Mangler, I've been seeing a lot more people utilize it within gameplay as well. So this is something we could see transfer over from the competitive scene to the rank scene to maybe even to the social game modes as well, where you see it put onto more of a dynamic spawn system rather than a static spawn system. Changing the spawn type does not mean that you have to do any kind of patching or anything like that. It's just like a game side, server side update kind of thing. Nothing too huge, which I think would be the right move to make with this weapon. And the main thing is just they need to have more time to kind of discuss with the community, look over the data and see if there is anything that needs to be changed about the Mangler. I've seen proposals for a two shot beat down, which I can kind of be down with that as well. So I think we have a better idea of how the Mangler sits within the sandbox and why people want to see it nerfed. This is a developing story. So as soon as we get some concrete information on what 343 is going to do on their end, I'll make sure to share it here on the channel. So if you're new to my channel or missed any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I'm going to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.